There are lots of different ways to hold your baby for breastfeeding. It depends on your breast shape, your body shape, and what feels comfortable for you and baby. Here's what all the positions have in common. Your baby is close to you and their body is supported so they feel anchored and not wobbly. Your baby's ear, shoulder and hip are all in line and face the same direction. Your baby's head is supported but they can move their head back if they want to. Your hands and arms are supported so they don't get tired. In laid back breastfeeding, your baby is on top of you with their body supported by your body. Babies love this because they feel really secure and they are in charge. Lean back with the pillow or cushion behind you and place your baby tummy down on your tummy. With a hand under their bum, support them to come near the breast with your nipple near their nose. Their chin will be close to your breast and they will follow their natural instincts to gape wide and bring their tongue down to scoop a mouthful of breast. They will bob around a bit to get a mouthful and to get organised. Laid back breastfeeding is especially good for newborn babies and can be the way a baby has their very first feed after birth. In cross cradle hold you support your baby with the arm opposite to the breast they are feeding from. So if your baby is feeding from your left breast your right arm is supporting them. You might have their bum near your elbow or one of their legs either side of your arm. Your hand supports baby's neck and the top of their shoulders. Your baby's head needs to be free to tip back so your fingers don't or shouldn't go higher than the base of their head. Keep your baby nice and close and their body right against your body with their arms out of the way. Bring your baby to your breast, not your breast to your baby. Bring their nose to your nipple and brush their chin and lower lip against your breasts. As they open their mouth, bring your arm closer to your body to tuck them in and bring their cheeks close to your breast. Lots of people start with a cross cradle hold and then move into a different position once baby starts feeding. You can lean back once they start feeding to help them feel more anchored and to give your arm some support or you can swap the arm that supports your baby and move into a cradle hold. Your fingers might get tired if you stay in a cross cradle hold with your fingers holding the baby's head all the way through a feed. Cross cradle hold might not work for you if you have a wide body and a short forearm that doesn't reach across to your nipple or if your nipple points off to one side. In the cradle hold you support your baby with the arm next to the breast they are feeding from. So if your baby is feeding from your right breast, their head is resting on your right arm. Their head will probably be near your elbow, depending on how long your arm is and where your nipple is pointing. So keep your baby close and their body right against your body. Bring your baby to your breast, not your breast to your baby. Bring their nose to your nipple and brush their chin and lower lip against your breast. As they open wide, bring your arm closer to your body to tuck them in and bring their cheeks close to your breast. You can lean back once they start feeding to help them feel more anchored and to give your arm some support. Cradle hold might not work for you if you are very tall and you have high breasts and long arms. In the rugby hold, you hold your baby along your side, the way someone holds a rugby ball. It can be useful if you have large breasts, if you are feeding twins together, or you've had a caesarean birth, and you want a position where nothing touches your tummy. Most of your baby's body will be behind your breast, so you'll need to sit on a deep sofa or chair where the baby can fit behind you. Support your arm on a cushion so your baby feels anchored. 
Keep your baby close and their body right against your body. Bring their nose to your nipple and brush their chin and lower lip against your breast. As they open wide, bring your arm closer to their body to tuck them in and bring their cheeks close to your breast. The angle of your nipple and the shape of your breast will change how baby lies next to you. If your nipples point outwards, then your baby should lie on their side with their ear, shoulder and hips pointing at the sky. If your nipples point downwards, then your baby might be lying on their back to come to your breast. You can use a rolled up muslin cloth or lift your breast to make it easier to see your nipple. Lots of mums lie down to feed at night, so you might fall asleep. So don't forget to follow the recommendations on making your bed a safe space. Lie down on your side with one arm bent supporting your head so you can see what's going on. With your other arm, bring the baby close to your body. Bring their nose to your nipple and brush their chin and lower lip against your breast. As they open wide and reach up for the breast, use a hand on their shoulder to bring them closer so their chin tucks into your breast. Once they are latched on, you can relax your arm under your head and lie down. You can keep the arm behind your baby's shoulder to keep them tucked close. Not all positions work for all body types and it may take a few weeks to find the ones that work best for you and your baby. You might change position as your baby gets bigger. Remember, you can ask your midwife for advice, call a breastfeeding helpline or get help at your local breastfeeding support group.